The next example, kind of like the same thing. Uh, this will be. This will be. Never last love. This will be. This will be. Everlasting love. This will be. The one I've waited for. This will be. The first time anyone has loved me. This will be example seven. Uh, Z plus two i. Is Z plus two i a factor of P of Z, which is Z cubed plus Z squared plus four Z plus four. So, what what is the form? This is again a plus two i. So instead of using the plus, uh, like this would be like x minus r, except for we have z plus two i. So I'm going to say use minus two i or negative two i, and that's from that note before. If say we had um, x minus three then we would use plus three, just the same thing, we're using the opposite. So that's a little side note. Uh, okay, so we just plug it in and check. Minus two i equals minus two i cubed plus minus two i squared or negative two i squared uh, plus four times negative two i plus four. This equals negative 8i cubed plus 4i squared plus negative 8i plus 4, which means we have negative 8i squared times i, I just split that up, plus 4 times negative 1 plus negative 8i plus 4, which equals 8i minus 4 minus 8i plus 4 and we have things that cancel this 8i and the negative 8i cancel out and this 4 or negative 4 and positive 4 cancel out so we do have 0 and by our theorem yes z plus 2i is a factor Easy. Next example. Uh, the goal it will, will be different. This is kind of like switching gears. The goal, the goal, is to completely, completely solve an equation. It would be a polynomial equation, uh, and this means to find all x values that will work that work find all the zeros even because it will be equal to zero so this will be example eight and uh, we'll start with two z cubed plus z squared minus eight z plus three equals zero and we are given one root, 3 over 2. Uh, in your book, it'll say, given this root, completely solve the equation. This will be our root. So, this is our root. So, what do we do? We first, step one, is uh, use synthetic division to get an equation of a smaller degree. I think it's called the depressed equation. It's so sad. No, because uh, it has a smaller degree. So we'll use synthetic division with three halves. And is this in descending order? Yes. So I have two, one, negative eight, and three. And I just do my synthetic division, which is easy. Bring down that two. This becomes a three, which is four. Four divided by two is two times three is six. 
is negative two, is it negative three? Yay, zero. So this is indeed a root because we got a zero remainder. That's what we know. Uh, and then I can write my depressed equation. <laughs> oh, it's just, uh, like Marvin on Hitchhiker's Path to the galaxy. This is my x term, this is my x squared term. I like to write that so I don't get confused. So my new uh, equation is 2x squared plus, because it's positive 4, plus 4x minus 2, that's just the constant term, equals 0. And um, this is a quadratic. This is a quadratic. Oh my goodness. We can solve this. Quadratic. Quadratic. I mean, when we start out with a cube function or cubed equation, not necessarily, we don't know how to solve that, really. We don't have any methods, but for quadratics, we can factor. We can use the quadratic formula. We can complete the square. Um, yeah, those are, we can guess and check if we wanted to spend many hours doing that. Uh, so we can solve this. We can solve. We can do it. And yeah, I'm just going to use quadratic formula because I already know that I can't factor it. But you can try to factor it and see you wouldn't be able to. X equals the opposite of 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 4 times 2. Um, negative 2, A and C, all over 2 times, that's a positive 2, 2 times 2. And that will give me, up to 4 plus or minus square root of 16 plus 16, plus, because there's two minuses in there, all over 4, and this becomes negative 4 over 4, plus or minus square root of 32 over 4, which equals negative 4 over 4, plus or minus square root of 32, that reduces to, uh, you can change it to 4 times, you know, 16 times 2, so it would be 4 root 2 over 4, which in the end is negative 1 plus or minus uh, root 2. Root 2! Go to! Go to! Loop 2. Could you see that at all? I don't know. So the answer then is so all roots are first uh, negative, I mean just 3 over 2. That's one of them. That was given. We have to state that. And then there's minus 1 plus root 2, minus 1 minus root 2. Those are all our roots. And this 3 over 2 was given. So just to point that out, that's where that came from. So what steps did we take to do this? Uh, first, the first step was use synthetic division, or synthetic substitution even, uh, if you want to call it that, to get a depressed equation. So use synthetic, synthetic division to get an equation of smaller degree. Step two is to write the new polynomial. Write new polynomial. And step three, because it was a quadratic, I would solve quadratic. Solve quadratic by either uh, quadratic formula or by completing square completing square or by factoring either either one of those and then 
step four is to write all roots. Write all roots. We can't forget the first one that they gave us either. So those are the steps.